Okay, does your baby list clipper keep doing this? Or this? Or this? Well, whether you have the Low Pro, the Boost FX, the Snap FX, the Pro FX, the FX1, if you're having the issue where your baby list clipper keeps shutting off, randomly with a full charge and nothing seems to be wrong, I have the solution for you. So let's get right to it. So I had this issue happen in particular with my boost clippers and I'm gonna show you what it was. So we're gonna take the blades off along with the, this white thing is called the cam follower. And I'm gonna take the lever off as well and if you're following along, be careful when taking this off because it has a couple parts that can fall off. And we're just gonna slide the bracket out. Now what is happening? Now basically what's happening is this plastic part is rubbing against the motor and it's causing it to have friction, resistance, and I'm guessing it overheats and has a fail safe where it stops and shuts off. Now I'm gonna recreate this problem real quick to show you. So I'm gonna put this plastic comb right here and I'm gonna turn the motor on. And you see it shuts right off. And then it doesn't come back on because it probably has to cool down. So that is the issue. So how did I fix it? Well, what I did was I just put a flathead screwdriver in here, I gripped it like so, and then I just kind of bent it back a little bit, and then I had enough clearance in there to where the motor could spin freely, and then it doesn't shut off anymore on me. Because even after I took the blades off, it would still shut off when I had it like this. So another way you can fix it is you take a little X-Acto knife and run it in between Cut off any plastic you need to cut off. Maybe you have a really thin nail file, you go in there and sand it. However you want to do it, you have to figure if you bend it back, you're probably weakening the metal. If you cut back some plastic, it's probably not that big of a deal, but it's obviously there for a reason. So you don't want to compromise the structure too much. So how does this happen? Well, this is the tension spring right here. So this could be above this little lip and pushing on the plastic if somehow it got misaligned. But this tension spring is supposed to fit behind that metal lip. So make sure that's in place. And I'm gonna show you how the problem happens in another way. So we are gonna put the lever back on real quick. Okay, now notice when you slide this lever back, the tension spring goes forward. See it? And when that goes forward, it puts more pressure on that metal part. So that metal part could have gotten bent from so much of this in the shop, in between cuts going back and forth. All of this motion will eventually bend this or push this to where it starts rubbing against the motor rotating and there's your problem and that's your fix. A very simple fix. All right, then when you're putting it back together, make sure you have the little spring hands in the cam follower. Press, press that down, get your screws in place and that's it. Now when I move this back and forth, I have no issues. Which pretty much saved the clipper. This clipper didn't even have a lot of use on it. This had even less use on it. Um, I did the same thing. And no longer shuts off. And whether you have the Pro FX, the Boost FX, Snap FX, the FX1, 
it all has the same design when you take the blades off. So, and I've seen people having this problem with the low pro. So whichever one you have, if you open it up and it looks the same, make sure nothing's rubbing against that rotary motor and you have to give it some clearance if it keeps shutting off. And a uh, bit of a design flaw, I guess you could say, Babyliss should give that, uh, that motor a little more clearance. And if you had the same issue and it was a mystery to you and you couldn't fix it and this video helped out, definitely let me know because I was stuck on it for a little while until I had the time to really troubleshoot it, see if it was the battery, it wasn't the battery, and go step by step along the way until I finally figured it out. So if it helps you out, leave a comment and let me know. And until the next time.